This is Ascended Murida Warrior Snow Druda Bishion, an earned son and human proxy of Divine Mother, Divine Builders, High Archangel Kai Iron, and the Lords and Lordess of the Grand Central Sun. I gotta get some epic news for you. I just, I, I, I am. This is super cool. I'm, I'm. I'm having so many epic conversations with these crystals, it's unbelievable. They're, they're so knowledgeable, and they're so wise, and they're so loving. That they're, they're not like anybody I've ever met before. And I, I've, been, I've been talking, they've been teaching me quite a bit. They've been, they're all trying to communicate to me, uh, uh, sometimes two or three of them at once. And I don't, I don't know, I'm not sure if they're able to communicate with each other, but they sort of just, I just able to tune into them. Okay, here I'm gonna go through the names. Uh, this is one of my favorite. Um, my favorites. Her her name is Car Carlin Ra. Car Carlin Carlin Ra. She's an Amazonianite stone crystal stone. She is Car Carlin. Carlin means heaven strength. Ra means sun or energy. Or it means vital life force. So Carlene, Carlene Ra, Car, Carlene, Carlene Ra means heaven strength, vital life force. And she, she's been teaching me quite a bit. I put her, when I lay down, I put her right here on my forehead. I lay down and uh, she helps me. She she down, she basically hides my, she gives me spiritual awareness. This is also one of my favorites too. Her name is... Kal Kalina Ka Kalini Kal Ka Kaliniza Kaliniza Actually I got her I, when I first posted it I got the name wrong because when she was talking to me it sounded like Kalini Kaliniza It sounded and it has two A's and I thought it was K A L E N I but it's actually K A L A N I Ka Kalini is Hawaiian for the royal one and it also means the heavens it means the royal queen from heaven the royal queen from heaven and za means a mass amount of gold it means it means a mine of wealth it means extreme luck it just, so Kalini, Kalini Kalini za she's one of my favorites this this one her I'm these are by the way I'm talking about the souls of the crystals I'm not talking about the crystals itself the soul of this crystal is a lordess of the Grand Central Sun. You know what that means? That that's one of Mother Divine's elders. The soul of this crystal is one of Mother Divine's elders. And this is also another one of my favorites. This is a uh, scolocyte, scolocyte Shiva Lingam. Like like I said in my last video. This can only, there's only, there's five holy sites on the planet. This comes from India, from one of the main holy sites on the planet. It's a river, and you have to be a special person to get these stones from, from these, from these rivers, and they're called Shiva Ling Lingams. They're basically a, a special kind of person created these stones for, for Mother Divine. And her name is Kul Kulakan. Kulakin. It just means. It means. Let me see if I can get this right. A powerful flow, and mystic kinship. With divine, divine force creation, Kundalini. And she's also very powerful. She's also old goddess. I mean the soul. And let's see. Oh, sorry, sorry. I screwed up the amethyst. Exactly, Ruzun. You guys gotta scratch that. Kalini Kaliniza is actually this one. Kaliniza. Kaliniza is actually this. This is actually the the Lordess of the Grand Central Sun. Yeah, the, I was surprised she didn't she didn't correct me when when I made that mistake. This one is Ruzun. Ruzun. Ruzun means 
Ru means inner peace. It means God's inner peace. Zun means to honor or respect. So Razun means to honor and respect and obey the inner, inner peace within you. God's inner peace within you. Which is a verse which uh, um, which they said uh, they're going to teach me. I'm not sure, quite sure what it means. But the, the, these um, these gods and goddesses are going to teach me what, what God's inner peace uh, is all about. And let's see here. And it's one of my favorites too. This is my first uh, fe female crystal. Her her name is Chulak. Chulak just it means an extreme passionate light. It means a extreme passionate crazy divine light. And this is a smoky quartz. And it's also another one of my favorites. So they're all my favorites. This one, her name is Rakin Laza. Laza. Rakin Laza. Ra means energy or sun member. Kin means brother, friendship. It means family. It means brotherhood, sisterhood. La Laza means to hold or to be held unlimited. To hold or unlimited. So basically means to, to be, to, to be family with the vital life force and to hold it or hold it. Or be held held with it, unlimited. And she's a, she she is actually an ancient light 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 person from the Grand Central Sun System. And this is also another one of my favorites. Her name is I actually got this wrong. I thought it was Wu Dazen, but it's but it's not Wu like W O O. It's W U W D Z E N. Let me see. Wu Da Wu Da Zin Wu It just means it matters. Remember, Da's energy. Um, it means a uh, Da means the earth like a physical energy. Ra means vital life force energy. They're, they're kind of they're about the same thing. And Wu means matters, or it's important. Zen means peaceful. So it just basically means a peaceful, peaceful, important physical energy. And Wu does Wu does Zin. Uh, she she's very powerful. She she's let me see. She's also a lordess, from from the. No, I'm getting a thumbs down. She's not a lordess. She's an old god, but she's not a lordess from the Grand Central Sun. But she's a she's a goddess, so goddess. I would uh, scratch that. I, I'm getting a thumbs down. They're they're telling me a, they're giving me a big thumbs down. That she's, um, she she. I'm talking to them. Is that correct? She's not a lordess. Okay, they they're, they're saying that she's this. She's not a lordess from the Grand Central Sun. Uh, and they're saying I only have one uh, lord. I only have one lordess from the, which is a female lord. I don't have any lords from the Grand Central Sun. And this one is another one of my favorites. Most of my, the the I'm talking about the souls of these crystals. The soul of this crystal is Jakin Jakinra. Ja means magnetic. Kin of of course means family. It means brotherhood, sisterhood. Ra means sun, vital life force energy. So it's it's magnetic flow, family, vital life force energy, pretty much. Okay, let's see what else I'm missing. Oh, and I forgot to mention my my Lamarian crystal. My Lamarian crystal is actually his. Is actually he. You can believe that I got two he's Zabraza, Zabraza, and Aces. Aces, my Lamari, and they're both males. I think that's. Let me see. Okay, I got four males: Zebraza, Aces, and Root. Rukun, Rukun are all males. They're all male gods. 
ACES ACES basically means to have, to have access to, to the divine source wisdom the divine source knowledge of all of all the seven universes and, and, and beyond it means to have access or to to, to, to be allowed access which is true because if I if if I hold my fingers at a certain on the on the on the etching, I can actually connect to all the all the all the information that there is, which is kind of cool. Let's see here. Oh, um, let's not forget about him. This is Rukun. 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 Uh, Ru means light or splendid. Kun. Kun. Rukon, 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 Rukon. Kon means wise. It means experience. It means wise and experience. It means somebody who's wise and experienced. Rukon, 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 Ru means light or splendid. Somebody who's loved the light, who's who's wise and experienced. And. And he, his name is Zebraza. Zebra is African. It means, it means, it means freedom, individuality, individuality. Freedom, individuality, and it means to overcome. It means to overcome, and za means a uh, oh, massive gold, a mine of wealth, and extreme luck. So basically, it means to have freedom, have individuality, and overcome. And then you have a you you have a massive gold, you have a mine of wealth, and you get extreme luck. Okay, I think that's it. I'm trying to think. And it, it's kind of cool. I'm having these conversations with these crystals, and they're, they're really wise. That they're, that they're very, very wise, and it's this is super cool to talk to them. They're, they're they're very wise, and they're they're very cool. So I got three males, and the rest are females. And j just so you know, when I say when I say male or female. Uh, just the, these god and goddesses, either they're, they're more they're more masculine or they're more feminine. That's what that's what makes them male or female. This is ascended Morida warrior snow Judah shield, and just so you know, Morida just means a teacher, a guide, a wisdom keeper, S somebody who. Somebody who knows the flow of divine perception, who understands the energy, who has has the highest and purest perception, who's a, also a wisdom keeper, a teacher, a guide, a healer. That's what Murida means. And ascendant means I have overcome. I have overcome the emotions, the physical and the mental, and I've 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 overcome the earth plane. So let me see, am I forgetting anything? Oh, and also, look at this. She gave me this. Yeah, it's an awesome shop. Well, we, you, you folks have an awesome day, and I hope you enjoy this video. It's a lot of information. I'm sorry, sorry that I had to cut it short. I know you folks love hearing me.